I don't get starstruck anymore. And it's kind of weird. I've been living near Hollywood for so long that seeing celebrities and paparazzi aren't out of the ordinary. If I'm driving and I look out my window and I see someone who looks like that person from the hills that one season, it probably is that person because the hills are five minutes down the road that way. Now if I see someone screaming over a celebrity, I just want to ask them what's wrong and if they need an ambulance. It's funny because thinking of celebrities reminds me of that one time that I almost ran over Steven Spielberg's car. Steven Spielberg was driving this way and I was driving this way and we both turned at the same time and stopped in this awkward V-shaped formation, pausing to stare across at each other. Me thinking, did I really almost get into a wreck with Steven Spielberg? Should I Instagram this? Steven Spielberg thinking, you will die in my next movie. So I let him go first. But it was strange because I wasn't very starstruck seeing Steven Spielberg. It's weird watching TMZ and seeing the streets that I walk on in the background. Nowadays, whenever I meet someone famous, it's usually just like I'm meeting another person. Even if after they leave, I'm like, oh my god, you guys, I just met Ashley Green. However, even though I don't get starstruck for celebrities, I do get starstruck for people that I deeply respect. Let's put it this way. If I met JK Rowling, I'd just fall over dead. This is me. Bloop. He dead. JK Rowling is someone who went from being absolutely nothing to being the biggest publishing phenomenon in the entire world. She didn't start off with millions of dollars or knowing the right people. She started off with nothing and had to climb just to get to rock bottom. I also think I'd be starstruck by Ryan Seacrest because I want to be Ryan Seacrest. I actually hosted a countdown radio show whenever I was a teenager because I wanted to be Ryan Seacrest in some small way. Ryan Seacrest has also found some way to be an A-list celebrity without involving himself in all of the negative celebrity drama. He's not famous for doing bad things. He's famous for being positive and doing his job really well. Same thing with Will Smith. I'll watch a movie with Will Smith in it just because I want to support Will Smith's awesome. I like looking up to people who are famous not because of who they were born as, but because who they've made themselves into. And I feel like those are all good people to be starstruck over. I've seen people get starstruck over places. Every time I drive past Beverly Hills, there's a huge crowd of people taking pictures by the sign. They are standing next to a sign that marks where wealthy people live and taking a picture with it. Nice to meet you, sign. Would you stand over here for a photograph, please? <gasps> Listen up, Beverly Hills sign. I'm a big fan of yours, and you can at least smile for the picture. Just going to ignore me then? All right, I'll leave, but Perez Hilton will hear about your rudeness. You probably have your own list of people that you massively lose your mind over if you met them in person, or maybe you have met them in person, so tell me about it down in the comments. Let's get serious here. I'd be starstruck if I met One Direction, but that's pretty much it. See you next time, Nationers. Oh,